Welcome back to another episode of oh, There's a Roof on the Hermitcraft server with me, ZF, and we are on our way over here to the shopping district where we're going to check out um, whether someone's bought anything. And you know what? Can I do this without touching the floor even? Uh, huh. Hi, down, uh, uh, oh, floor. Great. Now I know what my next hour and a half is going to be comprised of. Gently, 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 gently. Look at it. Hi, da, ha, oh, oh. Let's try the slam technique. Slam. Fly! Oh! Oh! Wait, it was a duff fly. No! Let's try and, like, skim past it. Hodja! Hodja! Oh, that technically worked! I mean, I didn't see... <laughs> I didn't see if we saw anything, but it kind of worked. But in all seriousness, no. Um, I don't think we've had very many elytra be sold. None of the horsey stuff. Ooh, hello! Wait, what was this? Was this XP bottles? I think this might have been some XP bottles. Look at all this money! And some bookshelves as well. Beautiful. No books. That's fine. Uh, oh, some glowstone has sold. Uh, and some copper has sold as well. Brilliant. 38. Ah, oh, how much is that if you block it? Four. Four blocks of diamonds we have added. This is fantastic. Okay, we re we re need to restock. First, we'll store the goods. Then we'll get some proper copper. Experience some experience and get glowstone. And finally, hit the books. Sorry, books. All of which lets us completely restock. Look at this, full to the brim. You can't go wrong, except for these two slots. Whoopsie. Um, but we've also managed to uh, add a little bit of extra stock underneath here as well. Secret little barrels under each of these. Don't tell the other hermits. But this is kind of like pre-stock, I guess. So next time I have to restock, I just take it from the hidden pre-stock. This is a moneymaker. I'm a moneymaker making money. Now, let's talk about today's Z advancement. I'm very, very excited for this one. We are going to be attempting to get from level 0 to level 100 as quickly as our little face can manage it. That means going from absolutely no XP to going to a lot, a lot of XP um, as fast as we can. And uh, this has been theory crafted quite rigorously by my good um, scientist friend and patron, Sam's Penguins. Thank you so much, Sam, for the wonderful research. And this, oh boy, oh boy, you you better guess right now. Put down in, in the comments, real legit, exactly how long you think it's going to take me to get from zero to 100 as quickly as we possibly can. It's going to be a bit of a journey, folks. It's going to be quite the ride. But to explain exactly how we're going to pull this off, I'm not just going to stand here and yap to the camera all day long. We are going to try and get some visual demonstrations to show you a little bit more about XP. But uh, first, we're going to have to find some XP orb somewhere. Oh, and you know what? Actually, I think we might have found the perfect place to get it. What's in here? Yeah, look, 32 for two diamonds. That is a very reasonable price. What an amazing shop. I've got XP orbs for days now. A splash. There we go. We throw it down. Ha, ha, ha. We run away. We don't want to get that little thing. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. It's attracted to me. I'm very attractive, I must admit. Now this, stop it, is an XP orb. Um, I'm sure you all know this thing has XP stored within it. It's not just one. It can be a total different value of XP. Um, and if you look down at my hot bar there, I am currently level 43. And I guess the green bar, I'm nearly just 43 and a half. You know, it's like when a little kid's like, I'm, I'm three and seven months. You've got to be exact, you see. Now, level 100 is nearly 30,000 XP little tiny bits. And one of these bottle of enchantings does about seven, which means we need over 4,000 XP bottles if we want to go from zero to 100. So, uh, I don't know about you. I think we might just, uh... Start trying to do it like this. <laughs> That's working quite well. They're coming out of my forehead. So XP bottles, obviously no good. That's going to take forever and ever. So we've got to find another way, which is why I am heading over to the XP farm in the end, where there are uh, Endermen. Yes, indeed. So uh, let's uh, wait for these to build up a little bit. Give them a swipe and see what happens then. I've got all these little bees buzzing around me. These are tiny little, like, ones and twos and threes and fours of XP. They're no good. Let's get some more. Hi -da. Oh, it's very satisfying to do, though, isn't it? Look, they <laughs> I love how they follow you around and stuff, too. But this is also no good either. It's just all little, like, bits and pieces of, like, change. We don't want change. We want the big bucks. 
And here is all 11 sizes. The first one, you can see it'll either have one or two bits of XP inside of it. The next one can have three, four, or five, or six bits of XP, and so on and so forth, right up to the biggie there that has 2,477 bits of XP in it, or more, but you can't really get more than that in survival, that's just sort of using commands and stuff. So um, we can actually see these as well in the real world. I have five furnaces set up and we're gonna see the first five different sizes. So each bit of cactus gives us one XP. So uh, this is gonna give us one XP. This will be giving us the, the second uh, size up. This will be the third size up, the fourth size, and the fifth size there. There are obviously six more sizes, but they're gonna take a little bit more doing. So uh, we'll wait for these to um, all finish smelting up, and then we will break them, and hopefully we'll have a bit of a display of XP lumps. And I believe they are all now done. Man, do I love the smell of cooked fresh cactus in the morning. Now, we've got to be careful here. These tubes are really tall because, again, I am super attractive, and we don't want to pick any of these up just yet. We want them to all fall down to the bottom of the tube. So I'm going to break this. Oh, can I reach it? Break it. Place. Ha. Huh. Okay, there is an orb down there. Fantastic. Ba, ba, ba. No! Oh no, I picked one up! Oh, this is bad. Ah, oh, okay, if they fling upwards... No, oh, it tried. It's right there. I think it might be in the block. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta be really careful. Stop following me! Okay, wow, it's it's cool that they can go in a block, though. Um, but yeah, you can definitely even see just from this bad little experiment, we have the tiny little baby one. Look at it jumping around. That one I picked up. Um, so this is the level three. This is the level four. The level four one has like a little inner nugget. The level five one, it's in a nugget has grown a little bit more as well. So you can see a nice little size progression and obviously the big guy, boom. Ha, 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 oh, look at him. Orbs of that size are definitely the only way we're gonna be able to achieve this because we pick those big ones up at exactly the same rate that we pick the tiny little ones up. But of course, every ding, we're actually getting more XP. So uh, we wanna fully focus on those. Um, and this whole this advancement, by the way, has actually been uh, completely inspired by a science and engineering Minecraft YouTube channel, Cubic Meter, um, video about what they called the God Particle, which was this massive XP lump. It's a very cool video. I suggest you go um, and watch it. But uh, yeah, because of that, we have had some comments and people suggested that I do something related to it. And I thought, why not try and zero to 100 as fast as we can? So um, yeah, in the video, they actually did the, the work for us. Boom. One of these things, a furnace, is the way forward. And we've already seen it. Cactus, as well, is the key to this whole thing. Um, because obviously you kill a mob, you get some XP. Like the dragon, they drop a lot of XP, but not as much as we need, unfortunately. But this little furnace right here, you stuff it full of 2,477 bits of cactus, which is a lot of cactus, by the way. And then all of a sudden you break it and bam, you've got one big massive Super duper level 11 crazy big XP orb. And then all you've got to do is get 13 of those and bam, you got 100 levels. Easy as that. We're also going to need to start off obviously at level zero. So um, in our quest of another's advancement to um, get wrecked by every single mob possible, um, I am going to let this zombie villager, which is counted as a different monster. Um, you know what? I'm going to jump in the boat with you. There you go. <laughs> Little back massage and this will get us a brand new mob death. Thank you. You may have also seen, sploosh, much more cactus coming out of this hole here. And that's because I replaced the four cactus plants that we previously had. Um, I think we can go through here. Yep. With ender pearl through um, one level like this. And yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of cactus levels. Oh, I didn't mean to tore them. Okay, well, now you're seeing them all. <laughs> yeah, there's like, I don't know. There's there's a lot of cactus levels here. This is a big cactus farm. Okay, oh, we reached the bottom right. How am I going to get out of here now? This is, this, is the worst. this is not a comfortable position to be in. All of those lead down, as you can see here, into our main storage collection, which um, if we sneak down this little water bit here, you'll see I've been doing for a very long time. We have... Cactus. <laughs> Lots of it. Absolutely. Chests and chests of it. Hours, um, maybe nearly even days of cactus here. Um, and we've still got more to collect. Oh, that's full now. We've got two more chests to go. Um, I think there's 11 double chests here just to make sure that we have enough cactus. It's expensive to get so many levels at once. But um, yeah, this should totally work. We just need to uh, do something else now. Wait a little bit of time for more cactus to come splashing down. So why not make the rest of this bit of the base look a little bit prettier, Mr. Llama?
Oh yes, very, very nice. It's our base coat done down here. All the deep slated up, nice and dark, obviously up there. We have the lovely white quartz, it's light, it's happy and bright down here. It's a bit darker, but it's still kind of cool. It's still um, opulent. It's kind of the same style as up there, but in the darker greys and blacks and things like that. Um, I like it. And the beauty of it still, it looks good still with leaves. And we do actually need to uh, have a little bit of a leaf infestation going on down here. So we're going to be spamming some leaves around everywhere. A little bit like some leaves have broken through. We want this place looking a bit decrepit. De decrepit. I can't talk very much like we did up there. Um, and, of course, gold in all its different forms still looks good as well. If we chuck some gold down here, a little sprinkling of gold nuggets. Even this here as well. It works well with all the colours. So, um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm digging this style. We've got our four main entrance ways like we wanted, very much like we have up there. This one, of course, remaining our cave access area. No corridor here. Um, it's shaping up to be rather nice. The animals were, had a good view during the whole of that too, <laughs> which was very good. We've got a little bit of lighting and stuff as well. Hidden, some hidden in the floor down here. Some of these uh, dangly ones, it should all be good. But let's get this place leafed up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of gold sprinkled about. Um, and it should be nice and warm and cozy. I'm also thinking for these um, eight kind of wall bits here as well. I've got some ideas, but I think that's going to come down in the future. Um, at the moment, obviously, we're living down in this bit. Um, but this little area here might might not kind of get too much love any more than it's getting now um, for the time being. But you might notice the elephant in the room. It, it's actually it's actually a llama. The big old grey middle section. What are we going to do? Well, it's actually quite nice um, as it goes from white to grey to dark. It's it's a grey deant, right? And I did think of having a blue deant or a red deant. But no, we're going to stick with a grey deant. Um, but we need to make this thing look much more speckly. So here's the nine blocks that we are going to use to achieve that. We've got smooth quartz, calcite, mushroom stem, stone, stone bricks, tough, deep slate, deep slate bricks, and deep slate tiles. Zhoing! In that order, there is a nine block gradient there. And Cal, move out of the way, please. This is what it looks like. We go from there all the way up to there. There's some real, like, except for this one and these two, <laughs> there's some real natural kind of rocky... Uh, textures in there as well, which I think should work quite nicely. Um, but we're not just going to do them layer by layer and have like a, a very uh, straight linear gradient. We're going to have, like I said before, a very speckly um, sort of peppered uh, gradient all the way. So uh, we need to push this white bit up a little bit so that we've got the full range to be able to mix these colors in. And uh, yeah, cow, that should look pretty good. And you might also notice down here as well, we have leafed up and also we have some ores around here. I decided to color code them um, because when you're down here, you kind of get confused about which way's which often. So, um, you know, at least now I know that this blue one uh, is that way, <laughs> apparently. No, I know that the cave is the iron one. Boom, there it is. Um, and I hopefully, eventually, I'll start orientating myself uh, with where things are. So um, if I wanted to fly out of here, I do believe, uh, if this is gold, if I wanted to fly to my portal... I would go here. Yes, perfect. It's a few. Okay. <laughs> I didn't look stupid. Great. Okay, gradient time. If we put a little bit of something over here and a bit of something there and something over here, I think we can end up with something looking pretty darn good. Look at that. Oh, not just a gradient, but a great Dian. You know, I think it works fantastically from the quartz to the deep slate. Mwah! Beautiful blend in there. Um, it kind of almost looks like a scorch mark or something like there was a big fire down here or like a comet burst through and made the hole. I'm not sure, Donkey. I'm not sure. But whilst we've been doing all of this, by the way, you might notice we're a little bit lacking on the old udders down here. We, we have one uh, brown mushroom udders, but there was dangling from this very post here a moo cow, a regular old moo cow, but my regular old moo cow. And um, let's just say Azuma visited, used my big shooty gun thing, and it might have disappeared. So we need to remedy that immediately. Hello, Azuma. Hi, ZF. You should be hanging your head in shame, sir. Oh, Tell everyone what you, what you did. killed a cow. <laughs> you killed a cow, yes. Good. You did. Killed a cow. And it's not good. What are you going to do to fix it? I'm going to bring a cow back here and attach it like before and nothing's going to go wrong. Exactly. That is exactly what you're going to do. And I'm going to stand here and watch and not help oh, a gosh. single bit. So test number one is to get a cow out of here without the other animals. Numbering your tests does not bode well for your confidence. Now, why would that take damage? <laughs> it literally... What? Come on, I cow. Just don't do anything silly. Oh, oh God, it's terrifying oh, me. Oh. Wait, wait, come down. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, what was that noise? That was you. That was me. Now, don't, don't drown. Don't drown now. Oh, wow. Pro skills. I'm impressed so far. The pillaring, the water bucketing. I mean, it was that or the rail, right? And the rail's just the bore, boring, slow, grindy way. Yeah, this oh. is the oh. maverick way. Oh, cow goes up, you go down. <laughs> okay, cow leashed. Bucket time. Don't drown. It's reached the top. It's it's breached. It's surfaced. Oh, man. Right, now don't stand on top of that. It's yeah, not that, gonna, that would it? be terrible if it was... <laughs> <laughs> Look! Oh my goodness! Yes! Azuma. I am so impressed. There is one more thing, technically. It's not really you need to do, but we need to do. Oh. So um, I think we should put a little bit of a barrier just along here, just like this, just so that no more painful, sharp objects right. come flying out. Okay, I'll here give goes. Give you the action shot. Ba -dee -ha. And... Oh, it killed oh, it! Oh no! Azuma, what, give me the dunce hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, dead. So now now it's like, let's speed run it. Speed run, okay. Right, I think you're good to give it a, a pretty firm push into the water. Okay, just straight into and the then, middle. And then you need to jump in and like pull it downwards. Okay. Right, oh, and oh, I'm... Oh, 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 oh cool. I head butted it back into the water. <laughs> oh, okay. That right, was amazing. Way. You were like a bull. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't know where my cow is. You're good, you're good. Just just hit the lead, hit okay. the lead. It's on, it's on. Done it. I, I, I think that's it. I think it's finished because everything's back to normal. So wow. However Beat long that. that was, that's a world record. Well, you know what, Azuma? You arrived here today and I was I was angry. I was I was like, I was mad at you for, for doing this. But now, I'm so glad that you've taught me the ways of speed cow dangling. That was uh, an immense amount of fun. It was, yeah. Thank you for your help. <laughs> and now I'm going to drift off into the sky. Okay, well, my base is perfect <laughs> Bye -bye. to do it. Goodbye, Azuma. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Don't hit the animals. And with that, a ding. We did it. Wonderful. We are back to our normal amount of dangling mobs. Very nice. I think it's about time. Where is it? We head down here and check on our cactus amount now. I've been seeing tons of it flying down and through. Uh, oh, we're full on that one. We're full on that one. Oh my goodness, we, we're almost so full. Once this is it, that's the total amount. And then it will just start getting automatically bone milled. Oh, we did it. Okay, we now officially have enough to go from level zero to level 100 as quickly as we can. And here is our 13 furnace setup. Each one of these is going to cook 2,477 cactus, giving us 2,477 XP. Those are the big orbs, all 13 big orbs, collected as quick as possible, should give us the levels to get to level 100 as quick as we can. So, once all of these have done smelting, we're going to need to break them. Um, we don't want to manually go in and collect the XP from each one. That's too slow. We want to get the XP out and in the main world. And to do that, a kaboom. We use, ha, oh, that grass was not happy. We use a block of TNT. Now this should break them all. In fact, I think we should do a test right now before we do any smelting at all. So um, I guess if I prepare the area around here like this, in fact, go away. You can be all nice and healed. Um, and then I should probably, I should probably put some up here as well, shouldn't I? Um, but I don't think we need any through the roof because uh, the, the, the explosion beams will just go up into the sky and maybe kill a bird or something, I'm not sure. Ha, something like that should be safe. So all 13 of these ca um, cactus, all of these furnace need to go boomy. Please work, please work, please work. A boom, brilliant. Okay, yeah, all 13 disappeared. Are they, are they still intact? Oh yeah, there they are. Oh wow, they were neatly packaged. <laughs> In one single package together. Okay, wonderful. Right, so now we have the uh, the positioning of them. We need to get stuff in these automatically with all the things. So let me pop them back. And they are back with a lot of chests as well. So our setup here, one furnace is this slice. It's got a double chest at the top. It's got a double chest at the bottom. The items go wee and flow down. And then we have a little single uh, fuel chest as well. So um, 2,477 cactus. It's about 39 stacks. And this obviously can hold 54 stacks. So that's great. Same on the outro as well, but with uh, green dye stuff. Um, and then the fuel, we're going to be going with lava buckets that cook 100 items each. And we need, I think, 25 of those. So a single chest is more than good enough for that. Is it? Yeah, it holds 27. We need 25. But it does mean that we need that times 13. So we're going to need like... Oh my goodness, we're going to need like 13 shulker boxes of lava buckets? Really? Really? 
Really? That's why we've got a boom. All of these, that's a lot of iron, um, and all of these to fill up. So uh, let's grab 16. Have I, okay, fire resistance. We jump on in and we click like crazy. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is, uh, this is hot work. You know what? I think I've fallen in love with the lava pickup sound. It's very pleasing. And after a few more hundred billion buckets, we have enough. So in every single of these 13 things, we have 25 lava buckets. That is enough to cook 2,500 things. And above, we have 2,477. So, you know, just enough to be smelted by of cactus for every single one. So I think we're about ready to turn this absolute beast on. So if we flick this, Smelting has begun. Okay, let's turn them all on. Oh, there's nothing like feeling the warm glow of smelting cactus on your rear. It's very, very nice. <laughs> but jokes aside, we now have to let this smelt for seven hours. Seven hours? Oh, it's been some time. It's been a long time, but look, they are very nearly done. Two cactus to go. Oh, we are almost there, and the other shouldn't be far behind either, though this is the one I turned on first, so this should be finished first. One cactus! Oh my goodness, me 2,476 cactus. <laughs> We've got one little one left. I don't know why this is showing full flameage. Bing! Oh. Done. Oh, the flames aren't going to go out, are they? Because apparently there's still loads of bucket left. Are we done all over here? As well? Oh, yep, you just finish in. You're finishing. Everybody's finishing. This is perfect. Okay, great. So now what we can do is we can get rid of all this extra fluff, including... <laughs> oh, die. And with that all cleaned away, all we've got to do now is create like a collection system, right? So the TNT's going where the torch is. A boom. All of these break. Now at the minute, they're just going to be like flinging, like flying XP over here, over there, everywhere. We want to try and contain it use water to push it into one particular spot so that we can pick this up. We don't want to have to wait for an XP orb to fly like three or four blocks into our body. We want it immediately. So I'm thinking if we create this little bit of a kind of containment um, chamber around it, um, we want to have like a roof on it too. And with the outside done, we can splosh some water down here. That will bring all of the XP right down into this very corner, which uh, luckily you can pick XP and things up through diagonals. So boom, we stand in here and this is where we get a hundred levels. Okay, so I've tried to block this off as much as I can. If we pull another bit here, hopefully none of the XP is going to come flying out this window. Um, oh, before we forget as well, we need to take off everything mending and we need to, uh, crucially, get back to zero levels. Somehow I've managed to pick up levels again. Hey, stinky face, come and get me. Uh, oh, a bit harder, please. Try again. It despawned. I'm legitimately struggling to die by ghast here. Oh, no. That wasn't a ghast. Okay, it's time. We are ready. I have got nothing on. I've got no mending things. We can pop the TNT. Boop, right there. And that torch, as you can see, we should be able to pick it up. Perfect. Right through the corner there. I like it. Oh, it's going to be nighttime. We should probably sleep or something first. And I think I'm going to stand way, way back here because if any does fly out, maybe there's a chance we can... I don't know. I don't know. Nothing's going to fly out. Okay. There's only one thing we can do this. We're going to have to slow motion replay it because it's going to be so quick. Are you ready? We go... Hada. I missed. No way. Okay. Huh? Huh? Explosion. Oh, I saw some big orbs in there then. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going to mess around here. We're just going to go and get in the hole straight away. I'm going to face this way. Are you ready? Zero to 100 levels in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. 101 levels. That was so speedy. That was literally 1.2 seconds to go from nothing to 101, not even 100. We're, we're beating records all over the place here. That, that was incredible. I would say not very practical. Um, doing this every time wouldn't be so great, but oh, we got to get our award. And you know what? Also, there's another award here. We've got 101 levels. We need to spend these wisely. So trophy cabinet space is a little bit low on the old original corridor, but that's okay because, oh, beam, we now have a brand new corridor to start. I said I wasn't going to give him much love, but we head on down underneath 
Boom, the beginnings of a new one. I XP'd myself absolutely get from level 0 to 100 as fast as possible in 1.25 seconds to be exact. Now, I think you cannot get any quicker than that, so I think we fully achieved it. I am very, very happy about that. Cubic meter, Sam's Penguins, thank you so very much for uh, the inspiration for a very, very cool Z advancement. Very Z advancement Z advancement as well. I've never had so much XP flowing through my veins. Oh, I totally forgot. What did I spend all their levels on? Of course, well, that is what these are over here. I numbered 101 cactus with all the numbers. It took <laughs> forever, but that's gonna be the display. I couldn't think of anything better to spend the levels on, so I think that's um, pretty good. It shows the dedication, you know? Um, but with that, it brings all of us advancements looking very much like this. Progress all over the place. You're, I think you'll agree. But I think that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so very much for watching. A massive thank you, as always, to my wonderful, glorious patrons whose names are all over the screen right now, making episodes just like this one possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your faces. But until the next episode, a good, a bye.